Hello again. This time we are going to learn about how we can access files, read from files, and write to files as we used to do maybe in Java and other languages. Now, OCaml IO is very, very uh, powerful, is very quick as well. And basically, the IO library it actually starts by defining two data types. There's one type called in channel which actually specifies the IO channel from which you know characters can be read and then the other one is out channel and it specifies the channel to which characters can be written now we have three channels that are automatically open at program startup we have the standard in the name says it all STD in standard input stream STD out standard output stream and STD error for the output uh, for the output stream for error messages so standard in it's of type in channel standard out of type out channel standard error of type out channel again and we have several functions to read and write from and to files this one called open out it takes a string it returns there's a function called open out takes a string as a parameter it takes so open out basically opens a file for writing open out it's out channel for writing it takes a string as a variable the file name a fully qualified file name it returns back an out channel which we can use to write to the file so remember we spoke about out channel here and here and then we have open out bin that's for binary leave that for the moment and open in again takes a string for reading this is we open a file for reading and open in bin for binary leave that for the moment so we, we, we will only be using open out and open in again open in takes a string the fully qu fully qualified file name ie with a full path and it returns an in channel which we spoke about here and here which is uh, for reading rather than writing to a file now the best thing is to if you remember the OCaml system if you remember the OCaml system we spoke about this in the last videos if you just google the OCaml system as you can see here um, and then there's some nice tutorials uh, for you to learn more about OCaml and at the very bottom you go the index of modules and then the one which is available by default is a module called pervasive there's a long list of modules they are ordered alphabetically and they're quite useful this arc for command line arguments arrays data, st array data structure um, and things like that. We'll come to these maybe at some time later. But let's go down to the bottom here. List, as you can see, uh, data structure list. And if you go by this one called pervasives initially open module. So this one is open by default, and these functions are actually inside uh, pervasive. So we can see here the exceptions, the ones we've uh, explained before, some functions for comparison, some boolean, the boolean operators. Um, you know some operations for integer arithmetic uh, successor and predecessor I think yes it's x plus 1 and x minus 1 so the number 4 the, num the, 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 the number after which was operations anyway we go all the way down it's quite a long list of functions actually you know sine and cosine and um, these quite useful functions please have a look and see what you maybe find useful over there but what I want, some string operations, character operations, what I wanted to show you is this input and output. So these are the channels we spoke about. These are the types, in channel, out channel, the standard in, standard out, the standard there, and this, these are some functions for the standard. So we can use these functions to sort of write, to print a character on standard output. So we, pr we can output something to a standard output um, and then for the standard error, so we can use this to write to a file. We can use these to um, write to an error, and these are to to read. I'm sorry, not not those ones. Yes, yeah, so the ones we 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 want to use now to open the channel as open out for 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 output and the output function rather than the print. Yes, we want to use the output function, output string. So we can use output string to write a string to give to a given output channel so to again to a to a write to a file 
we open an output channel using the, a string as a file name and then we use output string we pass it the output channel and the string that we want to write so two variables output channel and the string to write this is to do the writing but we need to open the channel first as I'm going to show you in the code likewise for the input and these ones are seek out and positions we can move the cursor by the way the cursor so for example uh, when we open the channel usually the cursor uh, goes to the end of the file I think for, for the output and for the reading it goes to the beginning of the file so we can with the seek we can actually move the cursor back and forth and then this flush is quite important usually whenever we write something to a file we can flush it so force it to be saved into a file otherwise we can close the, the channel before everything is actually written I'm always also remember to actually close the channel close out or close in instead in case of input so that's for input open in um, and then we can input line ie read a line from the channel it raises end of file exceptions so we can do a bit of exception handling we'll probably have one video where we can read a full file uh, line by line and then the end of file exception we can use it to uh, know that we are actually at the end of the file so always remember open in and then we can input uh, input line input char so we can read character by character or line by line and then we always need to again seek in so we can use in, in position um, it returns the current reading position and the seek is to take the cursor to a certain position but what I wanted to say now is we need to close it after using it close the channel after using it enough talking I know it can be um, I was just experimenting it can be tedious just to talk so let's just clear the screen here I was just experimenting clear the screen and then go into our top loop and remember everything we do here we can do it um, in our source files now to read something from a file if you, if you look at my code here is I'm using the open in function to open an input channel and the channel requires a file name so I give it a file name a fully quiet file name of the full path as a string and then it will open it um, and save it into this in file channel if the file doesn't exist it will return it it will just throw an exception we can use a bit of exception handling at that moment otherwise I can use it to read from a file from that file using the input line function we spoke about earlier so input line we pass it the input channel that we got from the input in from the opening and then we can read that line and maybe close the input channel and then um, just maybe print out that line or something for the output for, to write something that's exactly the same thing um, I'm just trying to here open out and create a log file um, and then so open out and then pass it a fi file name as you can see as a string and then output string to the log file to that channel now and then what I want to output what I want to write there the text I want to write uh, you know testing file IO and then slash n as a slash line uh, as a new line I'm sorry for the new line and then close out I close out the output channel and then print out that is actually okay done print end line is just another function from pervasive like print string and print int but this time print end line it automatically adds a new line now let me double check whether the file exists or not yes I've just I've, I've removed it so the file is not there I'm in my home directory now, so this is where my home directory is. Slash home slash likewise open slash academic slash CSST and NS. So what I can do here is I can maybe try with the read file. And by the way, so these are four lines of code. What I can do is I can say let let's equals the following and then let in the da, da in the following in the following print out and close and I can copy and paste this just to uh, execute them at the same time and we will have an error now and the reason is that this file doesn't exist so it will throw a system error that's an exception and we can actually handle the exception as we learned before but let's actually try and do the writing first 
so let's create a file in my home directory as you can see the full path call it call the file log or name the file log dot log and then write into it output string pass it the channel testing file io and then close it and then print out done so let me copy and paste this as i told you these are the unit so it means execute the following and just execute it and that's it so let me just do that it says done here meaning the process was successful if there's any exception it'll draw the exception if i check now uh, the file log dot log has testing file io that's it let me quit and then try to read that file again now so a second look at the code in file open in the function we spoke about from module pervasives pass it the file name returns uh, an in channel and then we can use the channel with the input line function to read a line from there and if you want to read the file line by line then we need to go into an infinite loop until we hit the end of file exception we can do that like sort of a trick have it in a try with statement um, to read a, a whole file line by line enough talking let me copy and paste the code again to read now the contents of the same file log dot log and print out just the first line which is what the first line was what the first line was testing file io and as you can see here it's actually printing out testing file io which is happening here and that's it thank you very much indeed for watching that's how simple in file io in ocaml is uh, in the next video we'll try to do more uh, operations maybe for example by reading a whole file line by line and see how we can use uh, exception handling to do something like that thank you very much for watching